what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to make ladybug paperweights. There you go. So I'm gonna try to do this in reverse, obviously. I have to put the hot glue in to try to make the stripes and the dots. And then we'll pour in some red, some black. We'll do the same thing for the legs. And hopefully when we pull it out, we'll just fill up the black and we'll have ladybug paperweights. So let's get to it. All right, so as you can see here, we have some with straight back lines, some with the wings maybe a little open. So we're gonna pour red in all of these. Fill them almost all the way up. We're gonna do a thin layer of black on the bottom of them. Once that all dries, remove them all and then fill all the gaps, which is we'll remove all the hot glue and fill all the empty space or the negative space with black. And we should have something that somewhat resembles a ladybug as a paperweight. So let's get, I'll get some stuff mixed up. That's what I'll do. I'll get some stuff mixed up and then I'll resume the video. So hold on. All right, I have the red mixed up. Let's go ahead and pour this now. Hopefully I have enough. Yep, all right, I'll mix it some more red. All right, second batch mixed up. I also add a little bit of fuchsia in this just to see the difference, so. Let's finish this up. All right, so now we're gonna let this dry. Once it's hardened, add black layer on top, let that harden, and then we'll remove it and continue on. All right, this is nice and hard, so I'm gonna mix up some black and then we'll pour it on. All right, we got our black. All right, we'll let it sit and uh, pull them out. So let's check these out. So what we're going to have to do now is dig out this hot glue and then fill it with resin. That's going to be difficult because some of the resin that went in between it, it didn't adhere very well. Other ones like this, it'll be easy to pull out. So let me pull this stuff out and we'll fill it together. All right. So now the conundrum trying to figure out how to get these black at first I was thinking trying to put them in those molds but I don't see a good effective way of doing that or putting the black in there so I think what we're gonna end up doing is what about either permanent marker or paint actually I think paint would work better so I think we're gonna paint these areas black focus thank you and then Fill that, not fill it, but put a like half full that mold with clear. Put it back in this way. It's gonna seep out over the edges, which is fine. Probably need to put something on here to hold it down. It should fill the negative space with clear. That's already gonna be black. And who knows, we might be able to paint little white faces or something on them. I think that's gonna work best, so let's go ahead and paint these. I'll go ahead and uh, save the painting them and I'll just show you the final result before we put them in clear. Let's do that. All right, there we have it. So we put some paint on there, paint some faces. Now I think what we're gonna do is fill up those molds or at least a quarter of them with some clear resin and stick these down in there so it can fill the negative space. So let's get on that.
all right there we go as you can see it's flowing out so we should have plenty in there and then we can use the sander or whatever and clip off the uh, extra clear now let's check this out when it's done let's check these out one-handed kind of hard so let's see oh oh that turned out perfect cool all right well let's remove the rest of these i'll do it with two hands and then film once they're out so you can see them there we have it so some have a little bit more air bubbles than others but that is pretty sweet what do you think that's one way to do it so now let's trim all these pieces off maybe sand it down some and we will uh, see that from a previous project leave in the comment below if you know what they came from all right let's get these all finished up here there we have it final end result isn't that cool? So we got ladybug paperweights. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Right about ish here. And we'll see ya on the next random trick. Also, everybody, want to give a quick update. At the time of making this video, we have 84 subscribers. So I want to put it till the end of this month. If we get 100 subscribers, there's going to be a free giveaway of something. Please subscribe. And I can't thank you guys enough.